Here we're going to show a quick demo of how the cubic curve control points affect the shape of the curve. Again, I'm using the Z code uh, template so that I can just show the Java graphics in a simple panel. So I've written a quick demo program in NetBeans and it creates a series of cubic curves. And recall that uh, cubic curves use two control points whereas quad curves use a single control point. So the way this works is uh, I've inverted the two control points and just like in the last demo for the quad curve I have a single uh, line stretching across the middle of the screen from two endpoints and then I uh, manipulate that line with the two control points. And what I've done here is I've set the control points to be inverted to one another. So uh, they'll start out with the highest point in the upper left and then the control point that matches it will be in the lower right. Mm -hmm. And so as the points approach the center they'll approach from both dimensions. So you should be able to see this. So let's run our program. And again here you can see how the control points work. So you notice the color. So here's the first control point for this line here and then the corresponding second control point down here. You can see how it shapes the line that way. And then uh, let's see, well it's pretty straightforward. You can see how they're color coded there. Okay, so hopefully it makes it a little clearer how to use cubic and quadratic curves uh, in our Java graphics programs.